finishes in the most spectacular manner. It's been 23 years since a Norwegian has cracked the top 50 in the ATP rankings. But 20-year-old Kasper Rud is eager to change that. Kasper's father, Christian, reached 39 in the ATP rankings back in 1995 and remains the highest-ranked Norwegian player of all time. So clearly tennis runs in the blood of the Rud family. Yeah, he had the racket in his hand since he was one year old or something. He has some fun picture where the, the bucket of balls is a lot bigger than him. I would say when he was like 10, 11, that he started to say to me that I want to play tennis. After that, we kind of made a plan for, okay, maybe you're going to be a professional and let's, let's do it more serious. In the beginning, when, we, when I was 12, 13, 14, I didn't play too much, but there's a circuit called Tennis Europe for 14 years old, and that's where he started traveling with me. And then when I was 16, the Spanish coach came in. For him being 16, 17 years old, to have his dad like one meter behind him the whole day, I think it's maybe not uh, that good, so that's why we, we brought in the coach which did most of the traveling and he came with his ideas and thoughts and then uh, I think also now with the system we have that he's also at the Nodal Academy getting inspiration and coaching from, the, from you know, some of the best coaches in the world. He's not the main coach, but dad Christian is never far away. We always try to have a phone call before I play a match. I would of course analyze my opponent, but he would also maybe see things that I didn't see or giving me motivation and um, small hints and tips every now and then is great. Yeah, I'm just you know trying to help him with uh, moving up in the rankings and play from my experience and tell him you know, you know which tournaments to play and try to develop his game also. And I think he's in a good position. He has a good team around him and establish himself as an ATP player. I think that's uh, the next goal. Kasper has been making major strides towards that goal. He reached the top 100 of the ATP rankings for the first time in March and followed that with his first ATP Tour final in Houston in April. But I've been ranked from 110 to 140 for about two years now and you're just pushing, pushing, pushing to get to that top 100. So now as I've reached the top 100, of course, I have some weeks not to relax, but kind of try to recharge and go for more. You have to be smart and keep the body healthy and to keep the motivation and the hunger to train hard and, and want to play tournaments and matches. And that's a little bit easier now when you have the top 100 ranking, you know babe, you're in the main draw of French Open and things like this. Not your biggest goal in your career, hopefully, like you want to get uh, even better than top 100 uh, eventually in, in, your, in your career, but it's uh, one of the big first goals, I think, for a young player and you know, it just feels really good to finally get there. And his strong start to 2019 has put Casper in the hunt for a place at the next-gen ATP Finals this November. I think we're all good friends to, among the next-gen players and of course we're competitors but we're also getting along so uh, it's a really big event that has been going on for two years now. I've been watching both years, I mean not every match but a little bit here and there and I think it's a fun concept and um, a great chance for uh, new young players to, to show their, uh, their level and compete against each other. It's a great uh, atmosphere and a, and a fun event it looks like, so I would really, really enjoy playing there, I think. We, we've been doing many things right and I think that uh, he's in a good place right now and I think, he, I think he's hungry for more and we just have to keep on going, I think. Next week on ATP Uncovered, we're in Estoril and Munich as the clay court swing continues. And we catch up with NITO ATP Finals champion, Germany's Alexander Zverev. Don't forget to log on to atptour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.